Hey guys, been a while since I've done an update. Um, I've been pretty busy. The wings are all built up. Um, servos installed. They are somewhat permanently in there. Um, I've never buried a servo before in my entire life. So, I'm not crazy about it but you know we'll give it a try the servos can be removed if I need to get them out but I would have to cut the sheeting but well that's how everybody's doing it so I guess I'll give it a try yeah the wings come along pretty good for being a very simple wing there's quite a lot of work to do past couple of days I've been home sick from work so I took advantage of that and got my flaps all done they turned out extremely well um, for the little <laughs> for the little bit of information that Nick Zeroli gives you as far as how to cut them out um, where to cut them out uh, it was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be uh, ailerons are all uh, sheeted and faced. So now I'm gonna get the top skins put on. Then I'll be able to do all the final working on uh, on getting the flaps all set. I've already had them working, um, and they they work beautifully. Uh, pardon all my snarfing but uh, I'm still not feeling too good been doing a lot of glassing the canopy hatch is all glassed uh, flow coat everything that's that's ready for primer the stab is glassed but I'm not going to do the flow coat until after the fuselage is glassed then at that time I'll glue the stab on get a nice fillet put in here to get everything to blend, then I'll do a flow coat over the whole thing. Uh, control surfaces, elevators, and rudder, those are all ready for prime. So, yeah, I've been busy. Definitely not coming along as fast as I would like, but that's my own fault. Once upon a long time ago, I probably could have framed up this entire jet in a month. Oh yeah. Uh, wing tanks are all put together. They're somewhat round. I, I'm I'm not exactly. They turned out okay. Once they're painted and everything, I, I think they'll look fine. Um, it it was just they, they didn't go together as smooth as I was hoping, but uh, I think they should be all right. So, yeah, this is not glassed yet. This is uh, because I made the nose out of foam to give it some strength before I glass the fuselage. There's four coats of resin coating the foam note, the foam block, and flowing it into the fuselage just to blend it. And that's just to give it some uh, give it some more strength before I glass the fuselage. You know, because if I set this thing on its nose to you know take a picture of it or you know because I whatever reason I want to put it on the nose I don't want to damage this I want to make it as strong as I can yeah everything has turned out pretty good I'm happy with it let's see is there anything else I don't believe so And the Super Chipmunk project has been kind of put on hold. Uh, fuselage is all primed. That's ready for covering, but eh, kind of lost interest in that. Wanted to get back to the jet. And you can kind of see how I made these so they're, they're removable. I got hardwood rails glued to the bottom uh, wing skins that I made these mounts out of plywood so these four 
screws, if I take those screws out, this whole assembly will pull out. So if I had to get that servo out of the wing for whatever reason, I'd have to cut the sheeting off here, then I could take the servo out. And the same thing with the aileron servos. You can see the, the four screws holding it in. So I'd have to cut the sheeting off the bottom if I ever needed to get the servo out. But I probably would never do this on a propped airplane. Um, I can get away with it with a jet because there's virtually no vibration. So the chances of you know a screw coming out of one of the servos is slim to none. These are good servos. Um, oh, you might be wondering. Yes, that is a tactic servo. Uh, I guess let me start off with this. Aileron servos. These are high tech six forty fives. Really good servos. Uh, they don't center worth a shit, but they're really strong servos. They last forever. They're they're bulletproof. For the flaps. This is the Tactic, oh, which one is that, T, what, 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 I can't read it, TS55 I think it is. It's a high performance Metal Gear, I've used them in several planes and I was kind of skeptical at first because of the price, these things are like 20 bucks a piece. Um, they center really good they're pretty fast they are super strong um, the six four, the high tech 645's are good servos but they're kinda sloppy in the center you can actually grab the servo arm and ee, 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 ee. they're they're pretty sloppy they don't hold very well these things are extremely strong um, I'm using them in my quarter scale D7 I'm um, using them for the flaps uh, in my P-51 and I'm using them on everything in my Bates Hellcat and they have been perfect. Ugh. I feel like crap, I'm sick of it. So, yeah. Yep, tubes are all glued in. Everything's nice and solid. Just got to get back to sheeting. Uh, probably within this next week I'll get these all sheeted. Uh, get the ailerons mounted up to it. Get the wing tanks mounted up. or Get the wing tanks set up. Then I'll glass the wings. Then I'll be able to mount the wing tanks on. But before I glass the wings I'll have to fit them to the fuselage. Make sure everything lines up. So, once I get some more progress done on this thing, I'll bring it back. Later.